Welcome to the last episode of the video series from classical mechanics to cold atoms, where I try to give you intuition on how to go from the classical regime to the quantum regime. Let's go. In the previous episodes, we learned that the De Broglie wavelength was the key parameter that helped us know whether we were in the classical or in the quantum regime, and that by slowing down the atoms or cooling them down, we could transition from one to the other. In order to go from the classical to the quantum realm, we used two techniques. One was the laser cooling, where we used light to slow down the atoms, and then evaporative cooling, where we relied on collisions to cool down the sample. Now, during evaporative cooling, there is a point where the De Broglie wavelength starts getting significant and it becomes comparable to the distance between the atoms. And at this point, we start going through a phase transition. During evaporative cooling, then our sample is a mixture of two things. The first component is the atoms that already underwent the phase transition, shown here in purple, and the thermal atoms, shown in blue. And this manifests, if we take a picture, as a bimodal distribution. Here you can see in the profile that the wings are sort of of a Gaussian shape, and then at the center we have an inverted parabola. Then, if evaporation continues, all the atoms go through this phase transition, and we reach a new state, which is fully quantum, which is called the Bose-Einstein condensate which is given by the inverted parabola shown here. Since all the atoms went through the phase transition and they are all in the same quantum state, they all behave as a single superatom at zero temperature. Here we can see an animation that describes the transition from the classical to the quantum regime, where the atoms initially collide as particles and then they start getting slowed down and they become eventually the Bose-Einstein condensate or the superatom. And with this, we finalize the video series. I hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.